Hi, I'm Darren Crooks. I'm Chris Short. And I'm James Oliver. Welcome to For Talk's Sake. In this episode of COVID-19 session, well... Liz is walking down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard like a... <laughs> I was like... We'll start again. I thought you fucked, I thought you fucked up because you had... No, I was like listening to the stairs <laughs> being walked on. <laughs> I'm Darren Crooks. I'm Chris Short. I'm James Oliver. Welcome to For Talk Sick. So, in this episode of the COVID-19 sessions, we have came up with a new game, which you have to guess what movie the person is talking about. So, I'm going to tell my movie, and then I'm going to give five clues, but after I give one each clue, Darren and James will get a chance to name one movie they think it is, each round, so and also if you're watching, you can play along at home. Is the and most yeah. points you can earn in one movie five points then? If you get it in the first, so if you say I said my first clue, you will get you would get five points for it. Yeah. So if you get it in the second, you get four, third, three. Fourth, two, last one, one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So, yeah. And also, if you're watching this and tell us the movie that you, the person that you guessed, and at what stage, just. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Curtis, right. take and it away. So, my first clue for this film is this film stars Mark Wahlberg and Greg Kinnear. Anyone know who Greg Kinnear is? Nope. <laughs> he nope. acts in As Good As It Gets and You've Got Meal. And many more things. Still have no idea who he is. But if we're going to guess one film at this point, I'm going to say The Departed. No. Um, I'm going to take a stab at it as well. First guess, I'm going to say The Lone Survivor. Nope. Okay. Well, are, oh, I, I was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that I thought you were talking about that one. The Lone Ranger? Aye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he was thinking about that. I thought that. I was like, well, that's not him. Right. right, so nearly all. So, clue two based on a true story. Hmm. <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg's done a lot of true story movies. He has, uh, to be fair. Ah, uh, what do you call it? Patriots Day. Nope. Deep Water Horizon. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's based on the life of Vince Papale. That's the third clue. And I'll give you the person's name. Vince Papale. Yeah. No, not a fighter. That's you. Right. Um. Our films is Mark Wahlberg done. <laughs> a lot. I don't know. I'm trying to think of ones that are based on true stories. <laughs> ah, that's so annoying. Right, Mark Wahlberg. He's in a lot of crap. Yeah, he's done some good stuff. He's done some good stuff, but he's also in a lot of crap. Pain and gain. That was a good shout, though. I like that. <laughs> it is based in 1976. That's clue four. Wow. That, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 1976. Is this a film I have seen before? <laughs> hmm. See, whenever you're put in a spot like this, it's an absolute nightmare to try and I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just trying to go through all of Mark Wahlberg films in my head. It's not working very well. Yeah. Like, I don't even think I've seen a majority of Mark Wahlberg films. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to pass in this one. Like, I can't even hazard a guess. No. I think I'm going to have to pass as well. And all else. Yeah, that's four. So the fifth clue is... He was a part 
longtime bartender from Philadelphia. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Don't what the problem is, I know fine well once you say the name, I'm probably gonna be really annoyed. Yeah, we'll get him. Uh, Part time bartender, Philadelphia. I don't know. Transformers. This <laughs> <laughs> all true story. You never know. James Lloyd. Oh, I don't want to give up, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> what year was it based in? I wasn't one of those. Oh, based? 1976. 1976. What you said? What year came out? It's not Boogie Nights, is it? Was it Boogie Nights? Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to give it as a clue, but it's one of the films I would like. I I took that from the offset. <laughs> it was released in 2006, Invincible. Never watched it. Never. <laughs> it's the story about Vince Papali, who was a 30-year-old who went to a Philadelphia Eagles fight and he became the uh, eldest, the oldest rookie in NFL history and remains it to this day. Right, okay. Is that a yeah. Disney film? It is. It's on Disney. Yeah. No, I, I think I've seen it the other day, but I never actually listened it to it. It's one of the three reviews I have to give you, but I didn't want to, if I'd give you that. I would have got it. Before, <laughs> you would have got it. You Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so well, that's zero points for both me and James then. Were they good clues though? Like, were they decent clues? Yeah. yeah. No, they were. Like, if I knew what the film was, I probably would have got that. Yeah. Especially whenever you said it was based on my person's life. Yeah. Yeah. My clues aren't that generous. No. <laughs> I tried to make it as fair. Right, James, your film is up next. Right, I picked it. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, I, I mine was a mix because like between two because I didn't know, I don't know it was like my first one that I wanted to go for, which I still might to be fair. It's I don't know if it's too hard or if it's like you know because I don't even know if even if you have like even heard of it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, you know, do I? But yeah, um, but I'll try it anyway. So why I'll not? It's uh, yeah. Yeah, um, because the second pick was then a foreign film, and I was like, again, it's a really like indie foreign film, and I was like, fuck, I, d- I don't know if you would even hazard a guess at that. So yeah, I'll stick with my first pick. Okay. So it was, um, yeah. So first clue, um, it stars Rooney Mara and was released in twenty seventeen. Rooney Mara, who is Rooney that? Mara. I know. Um, Rooney name. Mara is Joaquin Phoenix's fiance. I know who she is. Yeah, girl, girl with the dragon tattoo, like the US remake, the one who plays Elizabeth Slander. She was also in that awful Nightmare on Elm Street remake as Nancy. I can't remember. Yeah, it mm. still doesn't what help. Year does it <laughs> 2012? No, it was, it was released 2017. Oh, 17. Really doesn't help. <laughs> right, what's uh, clue two? No. Yeah, okay, it. so you both pass then. Both yeah. pass. <laughs> Clue two, it also stars Ben Affleck's brother, Casey Affleck. Is it called Ghost Story? Well done, Darren. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, I'm never going to get your two because it's just going to be a car. Was that a horror movie? No, it wasn't no. actually. No, it's, it's a, a drama. A drama so it was. It's actually, is she when you, you said you Casey one? Affleck? That's what got it for me. Right, okay. Right. Would you like to hear what the rest of the clues would have been? Yeah, I would have <laughs> so, number three would have been um, would have been based on it's a particular scene which has actually became quite well known. But again, it's only if you've heard of the film. So, uh, clue three would have been in one scene um, she demolishes like a pie basically because there's one scene that's just set for ten minutes straight where she just like eats a pie to the point where she had to make herself physically sick afterwards. Like was legit sick because she fucking just. Wolf it into it. That would be clue three. Yeah, yeah. Um, clue four. Uh, 
Um, I pro- I would have made it a bit easier. Three, four would have been the poster for it is um, basically a white sheet. No, no idea. Idea. <laughs> Yeah, no <worries. laughs> um, It's like that. Well, and um, Clue Five. Uh, to be honest, I, I didn't really I didn't really know what I would have put for Clue Five, like because those four, I was like, right, what else could I say about the film without like, telling you, basically? So. Yeah, I don't really know what I would have done for Clue 5. I would have came up with something, though, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad I got it. So, what's what? Four points for me? Yeah, well, Four points, Four yeah. points for me. Right. Oh, that's, we got five. All right. <laughs> Fellas. Doubtful. So, the first clue for my film is that it came out in 1993. Nope. You're looking off in the distance there, James. I am, because I have... The funny thing is, one of my, like, frame pictures is, like, a slab of all the different, like, horror icons. So I was just looking at it and being like, hey, there's come out 93. <laughs> um, fuck it, I'll just take a stab. Uh, Hellraiser? No. <laughs> Alright. Oh, well. Clue 2. It has connections to Harry Potter. As in the production of Harry Potter. Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, bad, bad pass. Pass? Uh, right. That yeah. one, really? Number three, prosthetics are heavily used in this film. <laughs> Idle hands? No. Jaws? No, that wasn't 93. Yeah, at least. Oh, fuck, I don't know! <laughs> right. Right. There has been no sequels or remakes of this film. That's a very broad field, like, to be fair. He really has fucking strength. That's like... Um, I bet it's something I haven't even seen either. <laughs> um, oh, um, Lost Boys? No. It has sequels. Lost Boys, there has been loads of remakes. There's been loads of sequels. <laughs> oh, has, um, yeah. Right, so last clue. It features a comedy legend. Ah, it's pants. Have a think about it. Got all the time in the world. <laughs> True. Look, I'll give you another one as well. You just really put yourself off thinking I was going to go for a horror film. Uh, this is I, an I, extremely, I, I is extremely no. well known film. <laughs> and it features a comedy led. Groundhog Day. No, Curtis, it's not Groundhog Day. <laughs> it's all down to you, James. Fuck. <laughs> Can I phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Want to give him the five clues? 50 50. <laughs> um, I think that last clue I give you is your 50 50. <laughs> yeah, true. It's an extra clue, so yeah. Um, features a comedy legend. Second thoughts on what it could be? No, no. No? no fifth Mrs. Doubtfire. Ah, oh, oh, oh. well played. There was gonna be though. There was gonna be, but there wasn't. What is that, Harry Potter? The same director. Ah, okay. 
See? If you know your movies, that would have been an easy one. I like that. <laughs> Yep, as per Hello. usual. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I like these games. Yeah, that was fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good show, Curtis. Well, this was all Curtis's idea, by the way. He came up with our, our little not game. Not just pretty face. Not just pretty face. See, he's trying to prove a point now. We're pushing it with the pretty face to begin with, so... <laughs> So, shall we say <laughs> bye bye for this episode yeah, of also, Guess That Movie? Don't forget to comment if you got any right, which yeah. I'll be surprised if anyone got Darren's because his clues had nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> they really did. <laughs> <laughs> I told and you also, a year came don't, out and <laughs> the connection. Don't, don't lie in the comment section. It's like, you know, be truthful, either you got it or you didn't. Uh, yeah, somebody like comments on Mrs. Doubtfire and say, I'll go on the first clue. Balak did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're lying. You what know, the funny part is, if someone actually did guess it, <laughs> now you didn't. Yep. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. If you want to join the for Toxic team, email me at unofficialreview92 at gmail.com. And if you want to have an article featured on the website, we will get something sorted for you. Check out all the rest of the YouTube videos we have, and hopefully you'll enjoy the rest we have to come. So subscribe, hit that bell, all that stuff that everybody tells you to do. But you know how to work YouTube, so I don't need to tell you how to do it. <laughs> but thanks for watching this video, and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.